Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create Halloween pumpkin. We are going to model it, UV unwrap it, texture it, and render it. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first step is the modeling. To make the Halloween pumpkin, you need to add a UV sphere with the 24 words. Then, you should turn on the proportional editing and select the top and bottom words of the UV sphere and scale them along the Z axis in this way. Then, go to the top view and select the edges alternately. In this way. Then scale them along their normal by pressing Alt S. Then deselect some words and one more time repeat the same steps. Repeat this process to get that good curved pumpkin form. Then add loop cut like this with a 0.8 factor in this way. Then use the knife tool to connect these words to get that right loop structure. Then you can take the symmetry along the X, Y, and Z axis. Then add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Your pumpkin form is ready. Take this pumpkin on a floor. You can see the wireframe structure. Then you can apply sub D modifier with one viewport level. So we will get more topology on the model. Then select these top faces and use the loop tool circle option and scale it down a little bit. Then take the symmetry along the Z axis. Finally add one more sub D modifier. So we will get this kind of smooth shading. Now to create a bird or stick of that pumpkin. Just you need to select few faces and extrude them along the z-axis randomly as like this and try to get that good looking form for the bird. Use some bevels and some inset operations. Then select alternate edges like this and scale them along their normal to get that bird texture. Then select these faces and duplicate them by pressing shift D and make them as a separate object by pressing P key. Then delete the faces of the bird part of the pumpkin object. In this way, we will get two different parts for the complete pumpkin model. And then you can start to add facial details on pumpkin to create a cool character out of it. For that, you can use a simple objects like a triangle and cubes. Give them right position, create good block out and use a boolean operation difference. To create a mouth detail, use a cube and create a zigzag block out on it for teeth and then use a difference boolean operation. You can experiment with the different facial expressions so you can get interesting character. Apply sub D modifier with the one viewport level to get more topology and then apply remaining boolean modifiers. Now select these inner side faces and delete these faces. Then use knife tool to create a little bit of good topology on the model. This step can take a little bit of more time but you can do this. After creating the decent topology, you can select everything and use the extrude along the normal to add a thickness to pumpkin. Then add a few supportive loop cuts and check the face orientation and recalculate it. In this way your Halloween pumpkin is ready. For UV unwrapping go to the edit mode then go to the select, select sharper edges and it will select sharper edges. Then press ctrl E and mark seam. In this way you can add seams on it to UV unwrap it. Then go to the UV editing tab and UV U unwrap. If you are facing any difficulty with the UV unwrapping, then first thing, apply the scale on the object and second thing, merge any double words. If you didn't watch my detailed UV unwrapping tutorial series, then please watch it. Link is in the i button and the description box. In this way, you can UV unwrap the pumpkin model. Next thing is the texturing. For texturing, I have used Substance Painter. Select the model and export it in the FBX format. Then open it in the substance painter, then bake the mesh maps and here I have given the steel mill while texture. Then change its base color to orange and decrease the metallic and roughness value. I am not super texturing artist, I just know how to texture some hard surface stuff. Then remove the marks on the texture and duplicate that texture and change its base color to the green. Then add a black mask on the green texture. Then select the polygon fill tool and turn on the mesh fill option and select the bird part to apply green texture to it. Then export these textures from the substance painter. Then create a new texture in blender for pumpkin and assign these textures. And you will get this kind of pumpkin. If you want to learn more about the texturing then let me know. Rendering. Add a plane and scale it. Then add a camera and set it to get the center composition. Then switch to the render view with the cycle rendering engine. Add a point light at the center of the pumpkin, adjust its power and give the orange tint to it. Decrease the world strength 
to 0 then add a back area light with a 45 degree angle so we will get highlights from the back side on the pumpkin then duplicate that back light and create a front light then I have assigned the ground texture to the bottom plane to get the good displacement on it subdivide that plane few times and add a subd modifier on it then change the color of the backlight to the little bit blue so we will get that teal and orange color scheme then go to the world texture properties and add a principal volume decrease its density to 0.01 .01, and change the color and the emission color also to the blue tone then go to the compositing tab and add a denoise filter then render your final scene with the cycle rendering engine and here is the final result I have done the little bit of compositing in the Photoshop and the final output looks like this. So in this way you can create this kind of pumpkin, Halloween pumpkin. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to YouTube channel. If you want to support this channel then you can join the membership. Bye bye. So next video, take care. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out